a couple blocks from our house. And he stooped down and picked up a, a kind of piece of concrete that was coming apart from the sidewalk. You know, and he held it for a while, we were talking, and he put it back down again. And we began to walk on, and this guy called, called out, pick that up, like in this really aggressive voice, you know. Mm -hmm. And it, even before I could think, I felt like this stab of hatred. Like I wanted something bad to happen to that guy. I mm -hmm. wanted him to, to, to get his, you know. Right. And underneath that, and like, I was like, wow, like I didn't know I had such hate in me for, for such a small thing, you know. Like, like for that split second, I wanted him to, to have some really bad consequence for that, you know. Mm -hmm. And and so I, I, I kind of, as I was walking, I kind of. Um, carried that feeling with me and, and, and explored it a little bit and felt like this wound underneath it, um, this feeling of, of being tiny and alone in a huge unjust world, full of, of enemies, full of people who I couldn't trust, full of people who, even if they didn't dislike me, they were indifferent to me. There are, there are these they're others, they're not, my, they're not me. They're these foreign beings, mm -hmm. uh, which I think is a, a pretty common feeling. Um, and so when I'm talking about the new story, I'm talking about seeing the world through a different set of eyes, which requires, um, you know, so intellectually, I've accepted a new story. That, you know, in fact, that person is, who yelled that at us, he's not really a separate other, but in fact, he's a reflection of something in me. Uh, and if I were in his situation, if I had had his childhood, if I had had his bad day that day, if I had had everything that he had, if I were in his situation, then I would behave the same way that he did. Like, I know that intellectually. And, and that intellectual knowledge is beginning to, to sink down into my body, but I still haven't fully embodied that new story. So I've just said what the new story is. The new story is oneness. Um, it's hard to say it without sounding like a new age cliche, but it's oneness, it's interconnectedness, it's inner being, it's the understanding that we're not alone in this cold, impersonal universe of force and mass where everybody's separate from everybody else. But we're, 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 we're together, we're, we're, we're not separate. Mm -hmm. But to fully embody that is a process. And that process takes time and it takes help. It's not something that anyone can do alone. It's not something I can do alone. Uh, I've had a lot of um, experiences that helped open me more and more to the truth of this other way of seeing and this other way of being. And those experiences usually were, some, were something when I experienced love mm -hmm. coming from another person, or I witnessed some act of great love or act of generosity, uh, and that opened something in me, too. Mm -hmm.